What's good, everybody out there on YouTube? This is your man, Shattuck Stick, dropping some hot Faraga on this mic. Today, we're going to be actually talking about the truth about Sonic Dream Team in the latest episode of Mob Shattuck 100, the show that opens your psyche. But I wanted to make, you know, sort of a longer form discussion video about Sonic Dream Team. Now, before I delve into it, I played Sonic Dream Team on a 2018 iPad Pro. Uh, the game ran pretty well, and it looked pretty good. I was initially playing it on medium settings, then I raised it to, you know, high and very high or the max or whatever. Max didn't look that much different than high, if different at all. And the only big noticeable thing I could see was like anti-aliasing and chromatic aberration being added to the image. Otherwise, it just looked pretty good. If you got, you know, an Apple device from the past six years or so, you should be able to run this game. I will say it is currently tied to Apple Arcade, which means you need a subscription and an Apple device. And if you do have an Apple device, I think outside of an iPhone or an iPad, it'll be very, very hard to cancel your subscription once you've already played through the game and done all you wanted to do with it. So beware. On top of that, the game is much better with a controller, so much so that I do not recommend playing without one. If you play without one, you will not enjoy this game at all. It was very obviously made with a controller in mind. And I also want to say, Set your expectations low. Do not treat this like a triple A or even a double A Sonic game. It's a mobile game at heart, despite how good it may or may not be. But with that all out of the way, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, hit that notification bell. It helps your boy get in the algorithm and let's begin. So I honestly wanted to start with the story. It's another simple story and another one where Eggman utilizes some ancient technology that he can't truly control. Nothing new, but nothing bad. It's just overall safe. We see the return of Preem, which is welcome alongside a new character called R.E.M. You know, get it? R.E.M. Like REM sleep. I'm not gonna lie, this makes me want to end my life. But moving on, cutscenes are told in image panels, but this honestly works really well with the scale of the game and the pacing of the story. I never found myself, you know, truly bored or anything by the story, which I think is really what a Sonic game needs. It doesn't even need to be good, it just needs to be not boring. But on top of that, there are some traditionally done cutscenes, and those are also really good. It's actually some of the best animation we've seen in real time from a Sonic game. Period. The animation work is top notch. I just wish they were longer and a lot more prevalent. There's one that's at the end of the game or a few at the end of the game that kind of acts as uh, transitions between characters, but it wasn't as smooth as the stuff that came before. You can tell that they were, you know, straining their budget then. Really, the worst thing about the story is how Cream returns and is the catalyst for the events of the game, but, you know, her role in the story is really little more than that she's really just the catalyst for events to happen and that's it she does stuff she fights alongside the team but otherwise you know her role isn't bigger than that she doesn't really it makes you the game wants you to feel like she's the main character but she really is overall it was pretty solid i didn't need nor expect much from this game in terms of story and i really was surprised to find a story that kept me somewhat interested now, let's talk about gameplay. Honestly, this point was a little disappointing, which is kind of weird to say, because I think this is the highlight of the game. But it's not because it was bad, but it was more so because you can tell that the game is very much a mobile game. Some of the emissions in this game from a control standpoint are just truly frustrating, especially considering this is a boost game. There's no true air boost or stop in a boost game. Why? This is made worse because Sega Harlight decided to, you know, double jump just needed to be removed completely and they replaced it, at least with the speed type characters, with a very, very weak air dash. I feel like this only exists to save players in case they're playing on touchscreen because when you do play the game, you can mash it and you can get out of some crazy situations because Sonic and Amy kind of just find the nearest, you know, trail of rings and latch on to that because it also functions as light speed dash, but still just doesn't feel like the most polished thing on the planet. And then when you look at the other characters, the way flight works is a little bit frustrating. There's some semblance or speed or momentum should be kept when flying from high speed and that's just not there. Otherwise it is fine, but my final gripe is truly with how gliding works. This is genuinely the worst gliding in any Sonic game period. They just should be upset with themselves for how bad this controls and 
they've updated the game and stuff and it's a little bit better but it's still not what it should be it is genuinely worse than how knuckles originally played like in the final update for sonic frontiers that's how bad it is it's both stiff and slippery at the same time it's truly bad and no while i was disappointed i'm not gonna lie i did still have a lot of fun playing it's a great implementation of boots. It's actually somewhat similar to Frontiers. The only thing you really can't dial in is your playstyle like you can in Frontiers. This game kind of proves with the utilization of the half pipes and myriad of set pieces that boost and adventure gameplay work better together than separate. This is the second time we're seeing this. First time we saw it was with Frontiers, a more open-ended boost game. And now that we got Sonic Dream Team, it kind of solidifies that, if anything else. I also think there are great ways of reusing stages to get more play time from the player. The missions were fun, they didn't take too long, and they made me forget that I was playing shorter levels and stages over and over again. Now don't get me wrong, they are repetitive in that you're doing the same six, seven, eight types of missions, but still it's fun and engaging. And I think that's what matters. I also like seeing that so many characters are playable. I think making everyone have boost and homing attack was a decision for the better in all honesty. I'm glad that Sonic devs are taking this approach move forward. I do wish there were quite a few more abilities to distinguish the characters from each other, but again, this is a mobile game. They couldn't make the game too complex. This game has to be played with a touch screen. Overall though, the gameplay was really solid and it's some of the best we've gotten in recent years from the Sonic franchise, surprisingly. So what does this all mean for the franchise? In all honesty, the door for smaller Sonic projects was just reopened. This is something we haven't seen in a long, long time. In the past, smaller Sonic projects were really relegated to two things, either handheld games or handheld versions of console games. And even then, if we're talking about, you know, console style smaller projects, it's mostly like PS2 and Wii versions of the seventh generation Sonic games. We haven't really had anything like this since, I guess, Sonic Generations 3DS or Lost World on the 3DS, if you want to count that also. We're in an all new era of experimentation for Sonic games, and I think it's for the better. This video started its writing phase before Sonic X Shadow Generations was announced, but when you look at all of these releases back to back, it looks like Sega is confident enough to experiment with Sonic. Frontiers was a runaway success for them. While Superstars wasn't as successful as they hoped, it's still reviewed well. Sonic Dream Team wound up being a surprisingly good side project that is still getting updates. When I was recording gameplay and finishing up the game before recording this video, the game literally got an update to add like a new mode or some shit. They genuinely do care about it. And then when we look at Sonic X Shadow, it looks like it's opening up the next era of Sonic games with our favorite Edgy the Hedge. I know Sega Hardlight specializes in mobile games and that Sega lightly got a big check from Apple, but I feel like this should be on consoles and Android and PC. And I also feel like I want to see them tackle more side games like this and keep the momentum going and do it on platforms outside of the mobile sector. Maybe we can get some games that cover the IDW stuff since they include so much of it in their games like Sonic Forces Speed Battle and Sonic Dash. Maybe Sega Heartlight can get a slightly higher budget to release something that is in the AA realm. Hopefully we get more games like this for the Sonic franchise outside of subscription services and I hope that this game comes to other platforms soon. It is truly a good game and I think it's a good symbol for what the franchise stands for us now and what we can see in the future especially in smaller projects but have you gotten to play sonic dream team how do you feel about it if you have played it do you want to see it come to other platforms or do you just not care about it? the momentum for this game really died i believe because it's stuck on apple arcade i don't know i could be yapping and capping and that's not true at all let me know how you feel in that comment section down below this has been your man shit addict stick don't forget to comment like and subscribe check out my previous video on foam stars it's a really good video i'd like to see it get at least like 300 views we're at like 200 something after recording of this video and in all honesty i did it work pretty hard on that video i don't have a ton of time to do the big over the top stuff like i used to do in the past so i utilize my free time in ways that are you know 
allow me to actually make content. So please support that video. I want to talk about more than just Sonic on this channel. But also make sure you follow your boy on the Elon Musk app. Join the Discord. Link is as always in the description down below. Hit the little card link and it'll send you to this little website that has all the links for my socials and stuff like that. But this has been your man Shattuck Stick. Remember how Faraga turns to cold Blizzaga. Chill out some of my other videos. Peace and have a good one. Come here, little thief. Think you can fly and get